number 143 in your past trip for polynomial functions. I asked you uh, how many zeros does the function at least have and on which intervals they occur. So we're looking for a change in f of x uh, locally from a positive to negative or a negative to a positive uh, over a interval. So uh, we have that change occur from uh, x equals negative 2 to x uh, to negative 1. Uh, so that changes from a positive to a negative, meaning that I had to cross the x-axis from some positive y value, so that would be 2, to a uh, y value of uh, negative 3, so I must have crossed and made a 0 there. Uh, I also must have done that uh, from negative 1 to 2. I also had to cross uh, y equals 0. So uh, we have our next interval from 1 to x to 2. And also we have that happen uh, going from 5 to negative 2. So our third interval is from 3 to 4. Uh, this means that we have at least three zeros that occur.